In this first video on the introduction to the Lua language, I'm actually going to aim this more for people who have actually done some programming, whether it's JavaScript or PHP or something like that. Because I'm going to be using some terminology that may not be familiar to you if you're brand new to programming, but we'll be getting into what those terms mean in later videos. So here in the introduction to the Lua language, first of all, what is Lua? If you've heard of programming before, you know JavaScript, PHP, C, C++, you've probably heard those as programming languages. But Lua is not one of those main, major, top-of-the-mind kind of programming languages. It's been around for a while, though, and it's known for speed and ease of use, and it's commonly used in game development, either as building the core of the game or using it for scripting different parts of the game. Corona SDK uses it, Moai SDK, Gideros, Cobalt Touch, and there's a lot more. And you've probably heard of some of these games. Angry Birds, the original Angry Birds, wasn't written in Lua, but the levels were written in Lua. World of Warcraft uses Lua on the back end for scripting. Roblox, SimCity 4, Star Wars Battlefront, a ton of games use Lua. It's a case-sensitive language, which means that Foo with the lowercase f and Foo with an uppercase f are completely different. It's a dynamically typed language, so there's no need to declare variables ahead of time, which some people love and some people hate, but that's the way Lua is. The types available in Lua are nil, boolean, which is true or false, or yes or no, a number, and there's no difference between floating point and integer in Lua. Everything's either a number or it's something else. A string, or a string of characters. A function, and a table. And a table is the only kind of complex data type in Lua. No special software is necessary to do Lua. You don't have to have any kind of special IDE. You can use a plain text editor if you want. There are single and multi-line comments in Lua. Two dashes for a single line, so anything after two hyphens or two dashes is considered a comment, and the Lua compiler ignores it. You can use multi-line comments, so you start it like this. Everything in between the starting and the ending characters is a comment, so that's how you can leave notes in your source code for yourself or for other programmers, and Lua basically just ignores all of those things that are comments. So coming up next in this crash course in Lua, we're going to be looking at variables, what they are, how to use them, what functions are, and I'll give you a hint right now, functions are just a chunk of code that you call later on, you build a function, you build a chunk of code, you put it aside, and then later on, you call that function to do a certain task. Tables, we'll get into that, really cool stuff with tables, and then control structures and loops. Also, if you want to dive more into Lua, because I'm only going to be covering the things that you really need to know in order to build a game as a beginning programmer. At lua-users.org, there's a wiki with lots of tutorials over there. So at some point, if you want to get more into the language of Lua, you can dive in there.